Okay, wow, this is gonna be my first go in the McLaren Artura, which as you might know, is the plug-in hybrid V6 model, which is replacing several cars from their range. It looks like that, and apparently it's gonna be rapid on track. Let's find out. Right, so I am in the McLaren Artura, sat next to our pro racing driver, Ross, and straight away, it feels so McLaren. It's so light on the nose, it just feels so direct. And that engine as well, it sounds fantastic. Despite having two fewer cylinders than what we are familiar with from previous years in McLarens, it's got a lovely silky tone. And then that hybrid oomph that you get immediately, I mean, you can certainly feel the throttle response. There is nothing in the way of delay as I drive around here at about five tenths. Goodwood as well is such a fast flowing track that you really get to test direction change in a car. I can feel, I feel so confident to get on the throttle on the corner exit though. The steering feel as well, McLarens are renowned for their steering feel. Hydraulic power steering in McLarens really give them advantage. This is still fully hydraulic isn't it, yeah. right? Yeah, and you can feel through the helm there's just so much communication. I mean this is a pretty smooth track despite the few bumps here and there, but you can just feel the information dripping through into your fingertips, it's lovely. See if we can feel a bit of balance through here, turning on the brakes. I mean, there's lots and lots of grip. I'm nowhere near the limit of that, but just feels wonderful. It's got that lovely sensation as well. If you carry a bit of speed into a bend and you're off throttle, you just get this sensation of slight push. So you feel really secure to get back on the throttle, which I'm doing now, revving it up to eight to the rev line. Fourth gear, fifth gear, hard on the brakes. Terrific, terrific braking performance. I mean, I'm barely giving it 50% potential. It just feels so easy to drive quickly. What a forgiving car. Lovely sensation of just security. I imagine if you're giving it more, you can get it rotated quite quickly. I won't do that today. I don't want to scare us. <laughs> Just a brief summary of this car, you can just feel that engine is so lovely and tractable. This gearbox, you know, we know the gearboxes in McLarens are terrific and it's instantaneous. Before I've even released the paddle, it's up into the next gear or down into the gear below. There's a nice thud as well as it goes down the gears, but it feels authentic, not fake like the stuff you get in some Lamborghinis. Lovely brake pedal feel as well. And because the pedals are set in the middle of the the foot area it means I can brake with my left foot very comfortably. In fact, it's probably quite uncomfortable to brake with your left foot in this car. I can't tell any difference between the way this thing goes down the road compared to the other stuff that was much more traditional. And yet, I can do this. I can click this back down into electric. And now we're off. Isn't that amazing? I mean, look, hybrids are complicated and there's a good argument to say you either go fully electric or you just go fully petrol, but actually, the use case for this is pretty phenomenal. I mean, firstly, you're not gonna annoy your neighbors in the morning, are you, when you start the car up? <laughs> Amazing, I mean, it feels like a McLaren. It feels like a McLaren before they went complicated with hybrids, which is amazing because it's got so much technology in it and so much extra weight, which they've then countered by making this so lightweight with carbon fiber technology. Unbelievable, I mean, I said in the car, hybrids are complicated, but yet this thing to drive feels so authentic, so traditional and so proper sports car, amazing.